Fusion Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. The cell and its environment. The cell can be defined as the smallest basic unit of life that carries out all life processes, summed up as characteristic of living things. Cells can exist as follows. Single and free living cells. Example, Amoeba, Paramecium, Euglena, and Clymodomonas. 2. Colony. Example, Volvos and Sponges. 3. Filaments, Spirogyra, Oscillatoria, and Aphanizomenon. Amoeba. It is irregular in shape and changes constantly. The protoplasmic mass consists of cytoplasm and nucleus. Within the cytoplasm are the food vacuole and the contractile vacuole through which it passes out liquid metabolic wastes. The paramecium. Its sleeper shape gives it the name sleeper animaco. Its cytoplasm comprises ectoplasm and endoplasm. Organelles like contractile vacuole, food vacuoles, micronucleus and meganucleus are contained in the endoplasm. The entire organism is are covered with pellicle which is covered by cilia. The euglena, as in the picture, has a flagellum for locomotion, the stigma, the pellicle, the cytoplasm, the reservoir, the chloroplasts, the ribosomes, the nucleus and nucleolus. The chlamydomonas. It possesses flagellum, contractile vacuoles, eye spot, nucleus, starch granule, pyrenoid, surrounded by starch granules. It possesses mitochondrion, Golgi apparatus, and chloroplast. For the colony, Many cells exist as a living single colony, which each cell dependent on the other in the body metabolism. The sponge. There are five types of cells. 1. Mesenchyme. 2. Cola cells. 3. Amoeboid cells. 4. Holopore cells. 5. Epithelial cells. Cells in form of filaments. Filaments are made up of cylindrical cells joined end to end in a single row. Examples are Spirogyra, Oscillatoria, and Aphanizomenon. The cell structure. First of all, the cell theory states that 1. The cell is the structural unit of living things. 2. The cell is the functional unit of living things. 3. All cells come from pre-existing cells. The plant cell structure and the animal cell structure differ in various ways. Summary of functions of cell organelles. Organelles have various functions. Organelles include nucleus, centrioles, cytoplasm, cell membrane, mitochondria, cell walls, endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, Golgi bodies, lysosomes, Plastids. The nucleus, it coordinates cell activities, accommodates DNA and RNA, and directs protein synthesis. Centrioles, centers for spindle formation during cell formation. The cytoplasm, it is responsible for most cell activities. The cell membrane, it protects and controls passage of substance. The mitochondria, it is a center for cell respiration and energy generation. The cell walls, it gives shape, strength, and rigidity. The endoplasmic reticulum, it aids transportation and aids chemical reaction. The ribosome, it helps in protein synthesis. The Golgi bodies, it transports newly synthesized lipids and proteins. The lysosomes, produce enzymes which destroy foreign bodies. The plastids, it helps in photosynthesis and protein synthesis. However, plants and animals differ in various ways. The plant cell has cellular cell wall, whereas there is no cell wall in an animal cell. The plant cell 
they are rigid and of definite shape but animal cells are not rigid but flexible the plant cell are usually large in size but animal cells are usually small in size plant cell possesses plant seeds animal cell has no plant seeds the plant cells vacuoles are always present and large but in animal cells even if vacuoles are present they are smaller the plant cell stores carbohydrates as starch but animal cell stores carbohydrates as glycogen tonoplast is present in plant cell but absent in animal cells plant cells have no central central is present in animal cells plant cell stores lipid as oil animal cell stores lipid as fat cytoplasm less dense found along the edges of the cell are present in a plant cell whereas cytoplasm dense and granular and fills cell completely nucleus is usually off center but animal cells nucleus is central not minding the differences between plants and animal cells they have similarities one cytoplasm is present in both cells two nucleus is present in both cells three mitochondria are present in both cells four chromosomes are present in both cells five nucleoli are present in both cells six Golgi bodies are present in both cells. Seven ribosomes are present in both cells. Eight lysosomes are present in both cells. Nine endoplasmic reticulum are present in both cells. The exchange of materials takes place in individual cell. It occurs through two processes: one, osmosis, and two, diffusion. Diffusion is the movement of molecules in ions, solvents or gases from a region of higher concentration to one of lower concentration until a state of equilibrium is attained. Diffusion in plants. 1. Movement of carbohydrates through the stomata of the leaves during respiration. 2. Movement of carbohydrates through the stomata into the leaves during photosynthesis and 3. Water vapor leaving the leaves during transpiration. Diffusion in animals. The following are noticed. 1. There is intake of oxygen or nutrients from mother to fetus through placenta. 2. Gaseous exchange in mammals occur in the lungs during respiration. 3. Gaseous exchange in many cells and organisms. 4. Movement of carbohydrate from the lungs capillaries into the air sac. Osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from the region of lower concentration to the region of higher concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Examples of osmosis in plants are absorption of water and nutrients through root heads. 2. Opening and closing of stomata. 3. Sugar pressure maintainers. 4. Opening and closing of some flower and leaves. Examples of osmosis in animals are 1. Action in contractile vocals of protozoa, that is osmoregulation. 2. Action in the kidney. Living cells as osmometer. 1. We have the hypotonic. When a cell of a living plant or animal is surrounded by pure water of solution whose solute concentration is lower, water passes into the cell by osmosis. 2. We have the isotonic. When the solute concentration of the cell and its surrounding medium are the same. 3. Hypertonic. When the cell is surrounded by a stronger solution, water will be lost by the cell. The cell shrinks. To show osmosis in living tissue using a yam tuber. For example, bore a hole into a peeled yam tuber. Fill the cavity with strong sugar solution. Insert a glass tubing through a stopper and close the cavity with a stopper. Tie the stopper in place with a string. Then place the tuber 
in a beaker of water and clamp the tubing with a ritual stand. After several hours, note the rise in the level of sugar solution in the glass tubing. What causes the sugar solution to rise? Osmosis.